I think during the previous live stream, I showed you that I'm currently working on the better support for the wireless links in the iNav. And I was experimenting with the Airport, uh, Express LRS Airport. Airport basically is the transparent wireless serial link made with the Express LRS hardware. And I was like fairly optimistic a month ago. I was like, yeah, okay, some things are maybe not perfect, but okay, it has the potential, it will be fine. A few weeks ago, I decided, nope, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not playing with Express LRS Airport. This technology uh, is uh, fundamentally broken. It's basically unusable in the current form unless the Express LRS developers fix the what a report is, I'm not really interested. The problem I discovered is that this is the receiver and this is the transmitter. You're supposed to just connect the USB to the transmitter, it acts as a serial port, everything works. For unknown to me reason, serial port on the transmitter module is tightly connected with the AIR protocol. If for example, in the wrong moment, you disconnect uh, your computer from the transmitter or just like connect, disconnect from this thing too much, uh, the receiver loses connection to the transmitter and to restore the connection you have to power cycle but if your drone is like two kilometers away you cannot power cycle this thing it's not that you power cycled only the transmitter and the connection returns nope you have to power cycle both probably just a bug somewhere in the implementation so maybe hopefully next release will fix that but at the moment this is just basically unusable more than that there is something wrong with the serial port buffer handling on the transmitter if the timing on the the emptying of the buffer over here is not precisely up to the expectations of the of the transmitter connection with the transmitter breaks without any warning like it's there it's linked it's disconnected to restore the connection you have to power cycle both devices not one but both comparing to some of the competition in general link stability is limited so i say that no i no no this is not worth my time i will not spend uh, any more time uh, with that thing it does just doesn't make sense so while i'm looking currently at something called the mlrs uh, also works with the express lrs uh, hardware but the mlrs uh, is this it it it, it is just the wireless uh, transparent serial link that is actually stable and works and i also came back to those modules uh, for my, some of my experiments. They are called a byte a E45 TTL. Those are no longer in the manufacturing, but you can buy the next generation over there. Look at my development module with the transmitter over here. I will plug this thing to my computer. It will disconnect from here and connect to COM7 uh, and enable wireless mode. I should be able to, over the air, connect to the receiver to, to my flight controller you see with the radio it's not very fast because it's just not very fast but uh, everything works and you can configure everything from the range of the few kilometers of no problem as long as the the, the modules are able to communicate it took the page uh, some time but you can easily configure this and you can even plan a mission because the mission control uh, also should work. By the way, those E44, E45 modules are very slow. Uh, MLRS uh, does it much better, but I had this hardware at hand, so I just uh, used it because I had it.